Hello and welcome everyone to a new video here on my channel, this time with, well, a little new tutorial, nothing special really, I just wanted to show you how to add any add-on aircraft to uh, the normal game spawn cycle, so to say, so uh, you'll have like different passenger aircraft spawning in the skies instead of just the vanilla GDA 5747 mod or whatever you have replaced it with. So for this to happen, um, it's actually pretty simple. You just go to the update.rpf, common data, and then you go to the AI folder and you have a file here called vehiclemodelsets.meta. Uh, you want to extract that one, let's just put it here, you can open it with notepad++, then you search for the jet, because uh, you want to add those jets, uh, or those aircraft, those add-on aircraft, to the same spawn cycle like the jet. So as you can see right here, you've got a... Um, item ambient model set name airport planes. Airport planes is basically well the big aircraft well actually only 747 so you'll have the default jet right here and as you can see I've already added some other aircraft which are add-ons you just copy and paste this entry here you know like uh, copy and then paste it again and then you can change the name from jet to uh, any of the add-on aircraft that you added. So for example here the Airbus A330 and um, here you have a probability value. Uh, one is, well, the default value and well, the lower it is, the less likely the plane is uh, spawning. So, for example, now the A330 is more likely to spawn than, for example, the default 747. And as you can see right here, I think, I think I've got the uh, 1.0. Yeah, well, I've got a uh, lowered for the A340s or I think the A380 has lower values because, in my opinion, you see a lot more 757s or triple sevens than well an A380 and um, yeah so this is basically it what you can do and I've done this in the past but it sometimes messes up uh, some spawn cycles Um, here you have airport plane small which is basically only the Luxor and the Chamel as you might know you also see these planes taxiing around LSIA and uh, also landing on one of the runways so you can basically copy one of these as well I suggest only using smaller planes for this so let's just add the Boeing 737 right there I think it was 739 yep let's just add it to this spawn cycle right here save the file and well you can also do the same for jets you know you just go search for laser here you've got the laser and you could Basically now copy this entry, paste it again, and then add, I don't know, F-22, something like that. And you'd have F-22s spawning at Fort San Kudo as well, landing and taking off. And, well, that, that goes for quite a lot of planes, really. You can also add the Basra. Uh, here you've got the Vestra and, well, a few other planes, so... If you want to add a specific add-on plane to the same spawn cycle like any vanilla GDA5 aircraft, just hit the search button, search for the default aircraft. You know, you've got also Duster. And um, yeah, you'll find it and just copy this entry here. Boom. And there you go, basically. Alright, so let's just... well already saved um, then we go back to open 4 let me make this a little bit smaller right here um, put it back in there and now is, there's something which still isn't fully tested but as you might know you don't really have many planes spawning at LSIA like for example on the old console versions like PlayStation 3 you really had a lot of uh, Boeing 747 spawning at the airport one taking off one landing and on PC you barely have any jet standing uh, at the airport I mean you sometimes have that 747 landing but that's about it so 
one thing that can be changed about this is you go to you extract the vehicles meta of your mod and search for this value here visible spawn distance scale um most jet mods well uh, passenger aircraft mods basically all of my passenger airline mods should have the value 6.0 uh, right here so this is like the default value. Now what you want to do is you want to lower it. You change it to 2. Point, uh, I, I use 2.25. That was a tip I received by PNW Parks fan. And with that value, planes are more likely to spawn at the airport. It's, it's not guaranteed that they do. But like I said, it's more likely. So this is basically it. Now, yeah, actually that's it. Now you want to go in game and check if it really does work would be a bummer if it doesn't right now <laughs> so now we're just gonna wait till the game loads Still waiting. Ah, there we go. Well, I mean, in theory, there we go. The thing with uh, the last thing I showed you with the uh, vehicles dot meta with uh, changing the spawn distance value, um, it might happen, you know, that you won't really see planes spawning in the sky when you are on the ground. Planes will still spawn when you fly a plane yourself, but when you're yeah when you are on the ground in a car or something like that. Um, Planes are less likely to spawn because of the reduced uh, spawn distance. Well, you gotta. Well, maybe you can mix it up. You know, if you have several add on aircraft like me, you could basically uh, decrease the value for some of the planes. So you have some spawning at the airport and some spawning in the sky. So, for example, perhaps uh, larger aircraft like the 777 or 747 those intercontinental aircraft they could spawn in the sky while smaller aircraft like 757 or a320 something like that um, could spawn well and there you see you are already have an a380 landing right there and you know you see I turn around now we've got a triple seven standing right over there um, let's just well, you know, actually, we could try and hop inside the aircraft, fly around LSIA, see if some new planes spawn. Don't really know how big of a lap we have to do around LSA, but 
We're just gonna try. Oh, you can see uh, back there. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a 747 has spawned. Now you can also see planes spawning in the sky. Looks like uh, 737 or something. What do you got over there? Yeah, another 737. I believe only the 747 still. That's a shame. Like I said, it, it works so so. Sometimes they do spawn, sometimes they don't. There's the 737 which is landed right over there. Right, so I guess uh, that should be enough to demonstrate what we were doing here. And now my dog wants some attention as well in the background. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn around. We've got an A380 landing again, and uh, yeah, and, and we've got a plane standing over there. So let's just taxi right next to it. Ooh, come on, turn around. These taxiways are really kind of small. Yeah, there. Oh, all right, all right, it's all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn around. Should probably add God mode right here. I can already see myself slamming into the trailer over there. <laughs> So yeah, this is basically it. Plane spawning all over LSA. I mean, it's still not as good as it was on um, as on the old consoles. Like you can see, you've got a well, well, you've got only the 747 right there, a few aircraft over here, but at least you can enter all of them. So um, whoop, no, I actually didn't want to do it, and um. Yeah, so sometimes they really do spawn uh, a lot, like you have two planes standing over here, you have two planes standing over there, you've got a plane taking off and all that stuff. I mean, it's still not the best, but it's something. It's better than, well, the default game. And it really, it's, well, it's kind of cool to have diverse air traffic in this game, especially when you're into aviation. And... As you saw, it's it's really easy to do. I mean, if you just want to have planes spawning in the sky, you can only edit vehicle model sets dot meta, and that's enough. And if you want the planes also 
spawning at the airport more likely well then you gotta change the vehicle start meta yeah this is basically it I mean the video is now a lot longer than I expected it to be so if you're still around watching this video hope you enjoyed it hope you're using this tip and uh, well I guess I see you in the next video then until then take care and thanks for watching